Where do rivers come from? The source of a river is defined as the most distant point of a river's longest tributary that flows continuously. The start of a river is called the headwaters. Gravity causes water to flow downhill. Runoff is one of the most common sources for the start of a river or stream. Not all the water that falls as rain soaks into the ground. Runoff is the extra water. As it moves downhill, it begins to gather in small channels called rills. These rills combine to form channels, which then join together, forming a river. Water can also be added to a river from groundwater. In areas with a high water table, water can move into a river instead of staying in storage underground. Springs can also be a source of water for a river or stream. When water from springs reaches the surface, it can start to flow in a channel. Almost all the water in these channels comes directly from the spring. The amount of water from the spring determines how big the stream is and how long it flows. Here are two examples of streams formed by underground springs. The first is in Death Valley, California. Salt Creek is a small stream that flows during winter and spring. There are pools near the upper portion of Salt Creek that remain year round. The second example is Big Springs in Idaho. This spring is the main source of water for Henry's Fork, also called the North Fork of the Snake River. Lakes are another major source of water for rivers. Some lakes have no outlet and are closed off so that the water cannot exit the lake. Other lakes are where a river starts. The Nile River in Africa starts at Lake Victoria. The Yellow River in China has headwaters in two mountain lakes. The Rhine River in Europe begins in the Swiss Alps at Lake Toma. Snowmelt is a major source of water for mountain streams and creeks. In areas with a large snowpack that melts during the spring and summer, the water flows into rivers that carry it through the landscape. The Yellowstone River starts in a sub-range of the Rocky Mountains. Most of the water is from snowmelt. The Amazon River has a history of having different starting points. The source of the Amazon has been hard to find. Several different tributaries have been credited as the starting point. The Amazon is the world's largest river by volume. The end of a river is called the mouth of the river. Rivers end at lakes or by joining other rivers. Rivers also end in the ocean. Oceans and seas are the most common place for rivers that are not tributaries to end. Thanks for watching.